I forgot to unmute my microphone. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's Wednesday. Let's talk about some music. There's a lot of things going on in the area as far as music goes, and uh, we'll get to all that in a little bit. Uh, tell you all about uh, who's playing where and who's doing what this weekend and coming up and in and around the area. But before we get to all that, uh, I have a friend of mine that's here tonight. Uh, um, as often as I can, I want to try to bring local musicians in and just uh, talk to them, get to know them just a little bit better than I already do, and just kind of have some. We're having trouble streaming to Facebook. Okay. Well, going to YouTube perfectly fine. Going to YouTube perfectly fine. So, uh, would you like me to post <clears throat> the link, YouTube link on your Facebook for you so you can just continue going? Yeah, sure. You are? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Maybe maybe Facebook will figure it out. And if Facebook doesn't, then uh, we'll just, uh, everybody on Facebook can just follow the link. So we're live on YouTube. So anyway, want to bring on a, a friend of mine, uh, a musician. I can't call him a, a, a fellow musician because that would imply that I'm a musician and I'm not. I like music, but I'm not any good at it. So, uh, but let me bring my friend in here. This is Philip Stewart. Hey, I'm confused with Phil Stewart, who is his dad. Um, doesn't have nearly uh, as much hair as Philip does, but uh, <laughs> He's he tries. On. Yeah. <laughs> um, but now this is my friend Philip. I've known Philip for man, 10, 12, 10 13, plus years, man. Something. It's been a it's been a while. Mm -hmm. uh, got to listen to you play a lot of music and see you yep. with a lot of bands and stuff. And you've been, uh, I mean, you you've been all over. I mean, you you do you do a lot of stuff these days. I do, man. I so, do. I try to at least. So, um, oh, let's just jump into it. I got to like I said, I I see you a list of questions, things that I ask everybody, and we can mm -hmm. talk about those. We can talk about anything else you want to talk to. Sure. Um, if if we fall off on rabbit trails somewhere in the middle and you know we want we we can talk just as long as you want i'm not going to be mad about it at all this is uh your time and uh you're you're welcome to uh use as much of it as you would like to but uh anyway so I, we just said a minute ago that uh i've known you for more than 10 years uh and the entire time i've known you you've been playing music so obviously you've been playing longer than that uh how long have you been playing Man, uh, I guess as a musician in general, I've been playing since I was pretty young, man. We have photos of me sitting in my pops' lap, Phil, uh, and I'm, you know, ha uh, half a year old up to two years old and started getting getting an actual kid starter kit when I was about four or so and uh, upgraded finally, you know, as the years got on and took full-time position in, inside Marcellus Wallace and I believe, 2016 and so that would have been my first full-time position so uh man maybe you could say about eight to ten years total probably gigging and uh that's that's largely just with them okay so um what got you to music what was the uh what made you think yeah i, I like this i want to i want to do this either you know professionally or as a, like a full-time hobby or uh, yeah, yeah. You know, what, may what, what made cliche. you like? May sound a little cliche, but man, it's my my pops. Man, he's being around it my whole life. It just that's just kind of where it came from, I guess. Seeing the guys that he respected and some of the the other local talents that were around that that uh, respected him as well, and uh, that's that's kind of where a lot of it came from. He turned me on to a lot of good material and uh, taught me a lot of good things growing up in terms of just music per se. And uh, man, it's it's really taking me to where I'm at nowadays. So I'd probably give it to him at this point. All right. Yeah, your dad's a, he's an all right guy. I, I mean, <laughs> I kind of like him. So. <laughs> no matter what um, they say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I say bad things about him all the time too, but you know, I, I never say anything bad about him behind his back. I wouldn't say to his face. So. Exactly. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You can expect the same out of him too. <laughs> right. Yeah. I remember this, this isn't so much about you. This is a random. I'll, I'll tell you a story about your, uh, uh, about your dad yeah man this was one night uh <clears throat> and you may have been there or you may not i i, I don't remember because it was a long time back um but uh uh inside marcellus wallace was playing at la's and i was djing and uh one of the things i really liked about when inside marcellus wallace was play is that we, we always were able to have good banter going back and forth between oh yeah you know between the band and, and me and, and it just made it for a fun night oh yeah and, uh 
at the in the, the middle of the uh, the night, sometime probably the end of the second set or something like that. Uh, the the band's getting ready to take a break. They're getting ready to go off stage, and 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 your dad says something like, "Yeah, we're getting ready to leave." And he said said something, made some smart aleck comment. I don't even remember what it was. All the thing I remember is like he's leaving the stage, and I said, "You know, I'm coming up on stage. Or I'm you know I'm going to take off." And the first the first song I want to dedicate and uh, uh, Phil's daughters were there, and uh, I said I want to dedicate this song to your daughters. And I started playing porn star dancing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was that was the kind of relationship that that uh, that you that we have. It's, yep. it's like, yeah, we're we're going to give each other grief about it every time every time we get a chance. What well, so. keeps the night live and keeps the crowd entertained. So what else can oh, you yeah. do, man? <laughs> it was great. It was fun. Yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. Always good memories playing over there with you guys DJing and stuff, man. Yeah, it was a lot of fun times. Yeah, it's. I know you guys have kind of, as far as inside Marcellus Wallace goes, you guys have kind of slowed down a little bit. You're not gigging as much as you used to, but uh, you still get out and play some, don't you? How often do you guys, um, you know, like book shows anymore? Just Man, whenever? Uh, essentially, we, uh, you know, juggling work and stuff, it's kind of a, a frantic schedule. And so right. we, we we try to book as we can. But we're also in kind of a, uh, uh, not rebranding, of course, but we have added a female vocalist. And so that has given us the potential to add a ton of new music, essentially, and incorporate a lot of uh, backup vocals as well as lead lead female dominant vocal parts as well. And so we're kind of we're kind of in a, a building phase right now. We re adding to the repertoire some and looking for some new tunes that we can add to the bar scene of, that kind of incorporate uh, our name is Amanda Veely, incorporate Veely into uh our set list a little more appropriately and kind of diversify a little bit from where we were. Okay. That so. sounds great. Um, yeah. It's one of the, uh, the other shows I don't remember who I was talking to. I was talking to somebody said, yeah, I always thought that was really cool when you have uh, that. It seems like a lot of the bands you see out are just this, this core three piece. It's um, you know, you've got the lead singer. Um, well, you'll have you'll have a guitar, a bass, and and drums, and then the lead singer is one of those three, and then um, so yeah, I always thought it was really exciting whenever we get anybody that could come in that would um, kind of fork off of that. Either somebody that has like a, a female lead because most of the time you're talking about three guys, um, yes. or you know somebody that has an, an another instrument, you know, Absolutely. keyboard or a saxophone or you know just anything else, something that was uh, I, I can remember a couple of times you know just to kind of to, to, to switch things up a little bit that um, drive South used to come in sometimes with a stand up, an electronic stand, or actually he had an electric stand up bass and he also had actually a full size acoustic uh, nice. stand up bass. So, you know, just anything like that that makes it a little different. Yeah, I was really style. great. So kind of, kind of looking forward to, to hearing you guys, you know, uh, jamming with some, some female vocals in there. I think that'll be fun. I'll, Absolutely. I'll have to make sure I, I listen for that oh, yeah some, we're adding a I'm bunch saying. of some 80s and a bunch more 80s and 90s stuff you know kind of fitting into that feel for things okay I, well you know i mean you got to play good music so. that's right that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's um right. so um how many instruments do you play oh man uh realistically three i guess counting vocals uh i've been a drummer at heart my whole life and then i recently picked up bass and have been playing bass in a couple bands here around town and stuff for about a about a year now. I think coming up here in April or so. And so, uh, I'd, I'd say bass, drums, and vocals. Okay. And the drums are the one you started with, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Been doing that for like I said since since I was sitting on my pops' lap, you know. Right. And then uh, picked up the bass just in in free time, you know, sitting around. We had an acoustic bass around the house. I'd pick that up while watching TV or jamming to some tunes or something and uh, figured out I kind of liked it. <laughs> okay. And so that's where that went. All right. Sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm a little jealous of you being, you know, uh, like I said, I've, I've, I enjoy music, but I've never been that musically inclined. I can't just pick something up and piddle with it and figure it out. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm a little jealous of that. That's that's an amazing skill to have. So well, I, congratulations. I appreciate, I appreciate it very much. So. Um, what would you say is, is your greatest achievement 
in musically speaking? What's your greatest achievement so far? Oh man. Granted, I've been playing, you know, we said 10, 10 years or so. I, I wouldn't quite say I have a greatest achievement yet, honestly. Uh, it's kind of a hard one to, to put a title to so far. I still consider it fairly early in my, my career. Uh, had some, some really fun shows, had some really good turnouts, you know, and uh, had fire departments called and, and things like that, that that make the night spicy. And so things like that kind of make make for highlights, no doubt. But in terms of achievements, man, uh, I guess seeing some of the work that I attempt to put in pay off on stage just in general has been some of the most achievement type things that I've received thus far. I would say linking up on band with other members, having a certain amount of tightness, getting a solo, you know, things like that. It's just the capability of being able to nail that solo or attempt to nail that solo is, has been probably some of my biggest achievements thus far. Okay. So the other half of that is uh, what's your biggest ambition? So it's like, yeah, I know you are, uh, you know, fairly young, you know, you're a lot younger than me. Uh, so that means you're fairly young. Um, but uh, yeah, what's, what's your biggest ambition? Uh, what do you, where do you want to go? Where do you want to say, I mean, maybe not the pinnacle, maybe not when you can say, you know, sure. this is, this is the, the the last thing that I want to achieve, but do you have like a milestone goal set somewhere out there, something that you want to try to reach for? Man, I'd, I'd love to have the capability to call myself a studio musician. And so that being said, I'd, I'd love to be a, somebody that can be called from, from Nashville or Memphis or somewhere here local like ourselves in our studio and be able to uh, help somebody else make the dream that they wanted to in music and uh, just – things like that man i'd love to be able to uh continue representing the recording community and try to put out good material as time goes by with other musicians so i'd say that's one of my biggest aspirations as of right now okay that's awesome speaking of other musicians uh uh joe bateman just uh popped in and he said yo 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 what's so up joe long time no see man Yeah, you'll have to uh, um, you'll have to come up uh, the end of uh, end of April or middle of April, April nineteenth. Okay. There's uh, there's going to have a um, it's the second annual Cody Knoll uh, benefit concert that's going to be taking place. It'll be at LA's. It's a Friday night. Uh, it's just going to be a, a benefit jam. So you know, bring some gear, come up and 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 hang out and and jam. There's going to be a whole bunch of musicians from all over the place. Uh, was there a lot with the one last year it was pretty great oh yeah that sounds like a blast man i'd love to i, I plan i'll plan to be yeah. there yeah you should it, it'll be great i'm gonna i'm gonna be there i don't know if i'm gonna actually do anything that night or not but i'm gonna be there so uh yeah um last time there really wasn't there, there weren't really like any you know, like dj breaks or anything so all i did was just kind of sat around and I, I got to do one of those rare things where I got to sit around and listen to music and just mm -hmm. sit there and chill. So, uh, you got to but be that DJ was really cool. Sit and be pretty. Yeah, it's, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, what's the best? Oh, so, okay. So this isn't on the, on the list, but this is something that I got to bring up because we've talked about this a little bit. Sure. Um, <clears throat> what or how many, um, different um musical um bands groups uh however you want to define the term how many different projects are you involved with right now musically uh i i'm a core member for three bands uh inside marcellus wallace being one uh, and then we have Main Street Revival. I'm the bass player for Main Street Revival. And then we have a, uh, a project that we're currently working on. We're, we're still up in the air about name, but the gentleman leading the band, he has a, a decent following online and is a real respectful gentleman. And so we're, we're just currently known as the Stephen Stone Project. And uh, we're with MSR, we're a little bit more pop music and jazz and some, some rock and then with the Stephen Stone band, we're more so country and uh, old country and kind of heavy rock. So we're playing things like uh, Stone Temple Pilots and Guns N' Roses, 
but then we're also playing like some George Strait and Merle Haggard and Toby Keith and stuff like that. And so, uh, and then in terms of uh, some other bands, you may would see me and I, every now and then I, I get paired up with the, the Greasy Tree guys and we'll go and play a gig or uh, Christian Lee with, with some of his projects that he does. He gives me a shout every now and then. And so uh, core member for three and then I, I bounce around here and there as I can, as, as I'm needed per se. So Okay. Yeah. Joe just said while you were talking at one interval, you're talking to Joe. So there's a lot of talent showed up last year and it's going to be even bigger this year, talking again about the uh the the Cody Knoll benefit. I got um, you. So uh speaking of the Stephen Stone, are you gonna be out at uh, Forest Roots this weekend with Stephen? That's right. Uh All Stephen right. Stone Ben will be at Forest Roots in Hokel, Missouri from eight PM to twelve AM. That's Saturday night. night, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. All right. Thought I saw that. Um yeah, I, I try to keep up. Uh, sometimes I, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I try to keep up. Yeah. So, uh, um, so man, you're you're in a lot of places. Um, do you have in all these different groups that you're in? Um, do any of them have like um, like uh, any published music, any originals, songs that they publish anywhere? Yeah, um, so uh, the Stephen Stone Project, uh, there's quite a few songs that you can take a look at for them or okay. uh, for that group. And uh, you can find them on his website, Stephen Stone, I believe. And uh, I can get you that the proper link. And then uh, for MSR and for IMW, we don't currently have any material that's uh, able to be listened to. Uh, but we have a couple promotional packages that are floating around that can be listened to that uh, display some uh decent recordings of some of our live performances put together with some uh nice videos and stuff so okay do you have anything like does steve, do you know if steven has anything that's on like uh any of the, the streaming services spotify or apple music or uh, i iTunes believe or? it may be on spotify okay don't hold me to it I, like i said i could double check on everything about okay. that but uh for that project there is definitely some original material that can be checked out okay uh the reason i asked is because um i'm trying to uh, compile a, a, a Spotify playlist of just uh, any any music that's available from the the people that come on and 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 we visit with and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. you know, I can have just like this one place. It's like you know, here go follow this playlist and you'll get to listen to all the people that that I come talk to. So absolutely, yeah, uh, that's awesome. So that's that's man. Okay, so you're 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 full time. Uh, you're a core member of three bands. You're. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you're you're halfway on on your way to being a, a session musician because you're you know like uh, backup or part time or, or as needed in two other bands. Um, do, do you ever sleep? I, I do, I do. <laughs> it's it's slim sometimes, but it's, it's by choice. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but man, it, it sounds like you stay busy. So, um, trying to think of a good way to ask this question, and and, and it, it's, um. Well, tell me something else about uh, you, about uh, you and, and music. If there was a, um, oh yeah, man, that's a good question. I think I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was on the list. Um, no, wait, it's not. Oh, well, yeah, it sort of is. Okay. So what's the best way to keep up with you, find you and follow you? So uh, yeah, or as uh, Elizabeth says, where can we find out where you will be playing at any given time? Fair enough. Well, uh, in terms of myself and for just music stuff, I, I just recently started a TikTok page and a music Instagram. And so you can find me on both TikTok and Instagram. And then in terms of gigs, most likely you'll see a lot of my flyers through Facebook and Instagram as well. So I would say Facebook, Instagram and TikTok would be the, the best routes. You realize I don't hardly do anything at all on Instagram and I don't have a TikTok account, right? Well, I, I just left that crowd about a month ago. You're, so <laughs> you're killing me, Holmes. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, all right. So um, as far as Facebook goes, would that be what I'd be looking on your like your personal page to find that on Facebook or uh would you be publishing that on your band pages too, or the band pages will be uh, filled with content in terms of gigs for each band, but okay. in terms of myself gigging across the board, you would find that on my personal page. Okay. All right. I'll make sure I, I watch that and 
I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to follow all the band pages and your personal page so I can keep up with everything that's going on. Excellent. So, Thanks for the support. Hey, anytime. Uh, so what is that Instagram page so that we can, what is your, and- sorry. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> what's your, uh, your, uh, Instagram, do they call those tags or handles yeah, or yeah. how do I find it's, you on Instagram? It's Philip with one L underscore Stewart 65. And that is my personal. And that'll, that'll get you uh, any kind of post that I put about music across the board, basically. And okay. then uh, I believe for my, for my music Instagram, it's just Philip Stewart music. Philip Stewart underscore music. All right. So Philip underscore underscore Stewart 65 uh, is you and mm-hmm. uh, Philip Stewart underscore music is your uh, music. That's Instagram. right. All That's right. right. Got that. Uh, what about TikTok? Where would I find you on TikTok? Or uh, where would somebody Stewart, else find you? Philip Stewart underscore music. Okay. So that's Insta and TikTok. That's right. Tried to keep it a little easy. Right. Branding. It always helps. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you plan on use, on learning any more instruments or are you just going to like chill with uh, drums and, and bass? Man, I, I, I really need to start picking up some keys. I, yeah. uh, there, I have a couple project ideas that I'm working on in the background with a couple others that uh, that's going to require me to pick up the keys essentially. And so uh, I'll be working towards that here soon. And, Hopefully see me on stage here in a few months playing keyboard. So All right, that'll be cool. Yeah. It'll be a first, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely let me know where you're gonna play. If I have a chance to get out there, I'd like to see that. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. But heck, I like to go see you guys play every time I get a chance anyway. So Yeah. We got a few gigs coming up this month. So All right. Yes, so, yeah. So uh where else you I so you said you got a couple of gigs coming up. Um I know this weekend you're gonna be with uh Stephen Stone out at Forest Roots. What else you got coming up in the next you know, month or so. Well, March 23rd, uh, that'll be the next one. And that's IMW. And we'll be playing an acoustic show at the recovery room in downtown Jonesboro. Okay. And then, uh, March 30th, MSR will be playing an acoustic show at the recovery room in, jo- in downtown Jonesboro. So that'd be for the mar- the month of March. Okay. I'm frantically writing notes while you're talking. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the problem is, you know, I really hope I can read them later. Yeah. That's the way uh, that's the problem. I had this, I had this problem. I used to, I used to write cursive. Everything I did, I, I wrote in cursive. Um, and I did that all through like junior high, high school. And then I went to college and I was still writing cursive. And <clears throat> about uh, six weeks into my freshman year, I, I had to stop writing in cursive and I, I switched to writing everything in basically block print. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did this because one day um, I, I, I and, and what I would do is I would take notes um, in class and then I would come back in the afternoon and I would I would transcribe my notes into my word processor program that I had on my ancient computer. Mm-hmm. And uh, one day I was sitting at my desk an hour and a half after I got out of class and I was looking at my notes and I had no idea what I had written. I could not read my own writing. Oh man. So, uh, yeah, at that point I, I, I started, I, I switched, tried to, to do everything in, in block print just so that I would have a chance of knowing what it was that I wrote. Um, I guess that helps you out as a DJ though, when you start messing up requests, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, half the time people don't know what they're asking for anyway. They, they ask you for names that aren't really the names of songs or they get the artists wrong or uh, yeah. or they ask you for some like, hey, can you play this song that has generic title? And when you look it up, there's like 15 different songs with the Every same title. Time. Yep. <laughs> when that happens, I usually try to find the one that I think will sound the most obnoxious and just play that one. Just go with it. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. you know, Explain will you ask for it? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> So, um, t- 
tell me anything else, anything else you want to talk about? Anything else going on? Anything exciting in your, your life or, uh, uh, I'm about to officially open my electronics company and be okay. licensed and insured for everything. And so that's, that's something new that'll be on the market. I'll, I'll finally start pushing out some of the, uh, pedal designs and, uh, some schematics that I've been designing. And so hopefully that'll be something here on the market soon. So that's it. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome. big one. Yes, sir. Looking forward to that. Hopefully I can, uh, uh, get some local musicians to in, endorse some of my pedals on their pedal boards, you know, if they I like mean, them. That, yeah. So that'd be cool. Yes, sir. I've seen, I've seen you guys a setup in your basement and, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys have a great studio, great setup there for jamming in your basement. And I, I know you also have that CNC machine back behind it. So not only can you, so you can jam and then you can go back in the back and you can literally like mold out the stuff that you want. So that's right. As needed. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Build a guitar and play the guitar. Right. Yeah. I think I saw that. I, I think I, I think I saw a picture of that where you were actually uh uh cutting that guitar body out of out on your CNC machine. So yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of I fun. Need, I need to learn how that thing works. Uh, it's a it's a hoss for sure. So yeah. I need I need to learn how your CNC machine works and I need to come down there and, and play with it. So well I I don't know if you should play with my cnc and say that on on air larry oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, at least it's not a c and say that's right that's right or a speaking spell or well the, the, it is a speakeasy production right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i haven't i haven't seen the, i haven't seen the room with all the chains tied to the walls yet so yeah uh, and right. i'm okay with that i don't i don't i don't need to see i don't need to see that it's in the basement so yeah Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> the second basement. The basement under the basement? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good place for it. You should always have your dungeon at the bottom floor. Oh, yeah. Always, always. That explains that addition that you build onto the back of the house now. Hey, don't talk about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Man, I appreciate you being here tonight. This is, oh, it has been super great to see you. Um, Likewise. And it's, it's, it's really sad that, you know, it's like, it's all these great people that I know. And, and, and it's like, man, I, I love being able to talk to you guys. And it just seems like, and then everybody always says this and, and, and I'm as guilty of this as everything. It's like, man, we need to get together and just hang out sometime. And it's like, that's a great idea. And it's like, I really want to do that. But at the same time, it's like. Life. I don't have the time, man. Don't have the it's time. Like, yeah. That's that's the that's the that's the rough part is finding the time to be able to do all the things you want to do and that's right. to be able to see all the people you want to see and and uh I, I apologize that I haven't had the time to be able to oh no just visit with you guys, you know. Oh, no, like, no, miss no, no apology it. necessary, man. Well that's just how it goes. We're obviously still connected. Right. So but no yeah, harm, no foul. It is. It has been great seeing you. It's been great talking with you for a little bit. Uh, anything else you want to talk about, man? I, I'm I'm happy if you're happy. All right. I man, appreciate I'm, you I'm having me happy. on here and support me and and the the projects I participate and the the fellas that are also in the groups, man. Absolutely. So, so uh, anytime you want to come back, just holler at me if you want to. You know, bring one of your your bands or you know a group that you're playing with or something. If you want to come on and talk about that or something, and sure. whatever you want, just uh, sure. just holler at me. I always got time for you. Excellent. Well, I appreciate it, Larry. I appreciate you so much, Phil. Thank yes, you for sir. stopping by tonight. And all right. So before you leave one more time, <laughs> have I mentioned that I have an amazing production director? I hear that. I hear she that. is, she is, she is like, she is awesome. She keeps me on track. I'm most just of the time. Her. I haven't seen mugs flying across the camera screen yet. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think she has one in reach right now. That's that's good. That's good. Fortunately, most of the stuff that she could throw right now is balls of yarn. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> and at least that's fairly soft when it hits me. Excuse yeah. me for a second. <laughs> All right. So one more time before you leave, uh, tell me again where I can uh, or where uh, the people listening can catch up with you and keep up with you. Uh, your Instagram, your TikTok, your Facebook, uh, all that stuff. Let them, let me know one more time where they can find you and, and catch up with you whenever they need to know what's going on in your life. We have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And on Facebook, it's just my name, Philip Stewart. Of course, Philip Ryan Stewart. 
And then on Instagram and TikTok, it is Philip Stewart underscore music. All right. Sounds great. Yes, sir. I appreciate you so much, Philip. Thank you Thank for you, stopping sir. by tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, have a great week. And uh, Likewise. maybe no promises. And this is a very big maybe, but uh, maybe if, if I can work things out, maybe I'll, I'll be able to run out to Forest Roots and see you this weekend. Well, hell, I look forward to the chance. All right. All right. Thank good you seeing so much, you, my friend. Sir. Likewise. Have a good See one. See you later. Bye. All right. That was my friend, Philip Stewart, who was, uh, he's a, he's a part of, like you said, he's a, a main guy in, or he's a, he's a full-time member of three bands and he does extra, extra work on the side for a couple other bands. And one of the bands is, uh, uh, <clears throat> Philip Stone. Is that right? Something Stone. Shh. It's in the slide deck. I'll tell you when we get there. Stephen, Stephen Stone. Yes, that's what it was. Stephen Stone. Yeah, uh, he was. Uh, he's going to be out there with Four Roots this weekend. And we got lots of other stuff going up, going on around the area this weekend. So let's just jump right into it. And we'll get to uh, all the stuff that's going on around the area this weekend. So to start off with. Um, the Happy Campers. And I managed to say that right one more time. So uh, getting really good at this. The Happy Campers are going to be at L.A. Nights tomorrow night doing an acoustic gig. So uh, if you'd like to see some Happy Campers, if you didn't get a chance to see them last weekend or you just want to get another dose of the Happy Campers, uh, go check them out at L.A.'s tomorrow night. The Eric Edwards Trio has a couple of gigs coming up uh, Friday. They're going to be at J-Town Grill. And then on Saturday, March 2nd, they will be at Skinny J's here in Paragould. Uh, in addition to being at uh, L.A.'s tomorrow, on March 9th, the Happy Campers will be at Skinny J's in Paragould. John Jones is staying busy all weekend long on February 29th. That's tomorrow. To look at my calendar, I'm just those dates. Me and dates are just not friends lately, um, especially when February has too many days in it, it throws everything off. Um, anyway, February 29th, John Jones will be at the social, March 1st, he will be at the Jonesboro Country Club, and then March 2nd, he will be at Bigger's Bluff. Jake Lungban is going to be at the Levy Lounge this Saturday. And then next Saturday, he's going to be at the Century Casino. And Jake Lung, not to be confused with the Jake Lung Band that we just saw. The Jake Lung Band is the full band with uh, all the guys in it. Uh, Jake Lung Music is just Jake Lung, the acoustic show. Um, March 1st, he's going to be at The Loft. March 3rd, he's going to be at LA Nights. And then March 7th, he's going to be at Skinny J's here in Paragold. Joe Bateman and the 870 boys have got a uh, a fairly packed month coming up. Uh, March 2nd, they're going to be at the Stock Tank. March 16th, they're going to be at Forest Roots. And then March 29th, they will be at LA Nights. Looking forward to that uh, March 29th show at LA Nights. I'm actually going to be the DJ that night. The Stephen Stone Band is going to be at Forest Roots on Saturday, March 2nd. There you go. I knew we'd get the name right. And I uh, I knew I had the slide in here somewhere. Just uh, uh, the name just kind of left me for a second. But uh, yeah, the Stephen Stone Band will be at Forest Roots this Saturday, March 2nd. Uh, band kicks off at 8 o'clock. And they're going to play from 8 until midnight. So uh, uh, go out and see Stephen Stone and uh, get a chance to say uh, hi to Philip while you're out there. Drive South is going to be at uh, Tio's Mexican Grill on March 1st. It's been a while since I've seen them. Uh, I mean, I don't actually, honestly, I don't remember the last time I saw Drive South playing somewhere. Uh, run into Lori a couple of times and run into to Mike uh, once or twice, but I uh, actually haven't actually seen them play in, in forever, it feels like. We may end up at Tio's for dinner on Friday. You never can tell. Stranger things have happened. 
Sorry, my eye itched. Um, Skinny Jays is hosting, uh, and we we I think we mentioned this already, but uh, uh, so I kind of do this in in two parts. So the first part is I want to talk about all the musicians, and I tell you where the musicians are playing, and then the the local venues that are hosting music. Uh, I go back through and then uh, tell you who's playing at the uh, the venues that I had. I, so kind of do try to keep do both sides of that coin. So uh, the Eric Edwards trio will be at Skinny Jays on March 2nd. And uh, Jake Lung will be at Skinny Jays on March 7th. The Brick House Grill in downtown Jonesboro is having a pop punk leap year party featuring Through It All, The Storyline, and REC. That will be Thursday, February 29th. That's tomorrow night. Starts at 8 p.m. Leap year party at the Brick House. This Saturday, the St. John's Lutheran Church is having a, uh, a children's musical called The Unforgettable Flood that will be taking place at the Collins Theater. And tickets are on sale for the Junie B. Jones Jr. musical, uh, which will take place at the Collins Theater March 8th at 7 p.m., March 9th at 2 and 7 p.m., March 10th at 2 p.m., uh, tickets are available at act2performingarts.org. And that's the uh, Junie B. Jones Jr. The Musical. Tickets on sale now. They're $15 a piece. And a couple of things coming up uh, around the area. Um, a couple of uh, musical benefits that are coming on, going on around the area. Um, <clears throat> March 1st. So this is going to be this coming Friday. Um, really Short amount of time. I just heard about this today. I, I hadn't heard this was going on, but I just found out about it today. So I apologize for the uh, the short notice. Um, Friday, March 1st, the 11th annual Southern Bancor Hope Concert uh, benefiting St. Jude's Children's Research St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. I apologize for walking all over my words. Uh being presented by the Mississippi County Electric Cooperative and MCEC Fiber. Uh, they're going to be uh, hosting this concert. The concert will feature Mary Beth Bird, CJ Wilder, Rooster Blue, and David Adam Burns. Again, the uh, proceeds of the concert are going to benefit St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. It takes place Friday, March 1st at the Holiday Inn Ballroom in Blyville, Arkansas. Doors open at 6. There will be a live auction starting at 6.30 with Hillbilly Nate. Admission is $35 in advance, $40 at the door. There will be light appetizers, and you must be 21 to attend. Uh, tickets are available at the Thunder Country Facebook page or at Hay Supermarket in the, I think that's the Day Shopping Center. Or if you'd like, uh, if you're interested in tickets, um, the big QR code here on the side is a, a bigger copy of the smaller QR code that's down in the corner of that. I just blew that up for you and try to make it a little easier for you to scan. Um, did check the QR code earlier today and it does work. I, I, I like that my production manager wanted to make sure that it was going to work. So she had to check it out for me. And I was like, yes, I did. After I put the slide together, I did try it and scanned it to make sure. So yeah, that's true. You, you did it from the live. I was actually doing it from the slide deck when I built it, but uh, yeah, that does work. So uh, and I'm, you know, kind of stalling a little bit of time, leaving that up there on the on the screen for you for a little bit extra extra time. So, yeah, if you want to scan that QR code for tickets, uh, please do that. And we mentioned this a couple of times earlier tonight. Uh, the Cody Knoll, the second annual Cody Knoll Benefit Jam will be taking place on Friday, April 19th from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. This will be hosted by Joe Bateman and takes place at L.A. Nights. Uh, this is to uh, support uh, Cody Knoll's family, his children and his wife after he uh, um, tragically and um, very unexpectedly uh, left us last year. So uh, those are the things that are going on in music around this area uh, coming up over the course of this next week or two, couple of weeks. Um if there's something else that's going on, if you have something musically related that you'd like to talk about or you know about, or if there's some other music in the area that uh, you'd like me to highlight, or uh, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just shoot me a message and let me know what it is, and I'll be more than happy to include it in. And also, if uh, 
if you are a musician, you'd like to come on and talk and just tell me a little bit about yourself. You're more than welcome to do so. Uh, again, drop me a line and I'd be more than happy to. We'll have that conversation. I think that'd be great. That's it for what's going on in music. Until the next time, you guys, be safe, be careful, take care of each other. Um, I appreciate you. Have a good evening and we will see you next week.